I just think that any storytelling that can reconnect people with their humanity and their emotional better selves is good. Well, it always evolves, certainly also when I work with Ryan, our process is we'll, we come aboard to something because there's a big juicy idea. And then the first thing we do is we dig into the script and we do rewrites with the writer. We then do rewrites with the two of us. And we really try and hone that thing for months before we shoot so that it's our vision of that idea. With Adam Project, this idea of, of a literal revisitation of one's history, a, a sci-fi movie that's less about saving the world and more about saving yourself, that felt incredibly compelling. And the movie that you've now watched is incredibly close to what we set out to make. Well, I think that Ryan is deft and nimble with tone in a way that a lot of actors aren't. For one thing, he is a comedic genius and there aren't many of those. And it is innate to him. And I can tell you from experience, you can't direct that. You cannot direct a dramatic actor to be funny. You can direct a comedic actor to be dramatic but you can't teach them to hear the music if they don't hear it. And comedy is rhythm and music. Um, but the, the great joy for me of making Adam Project, I wasn't surprised that he was funny, but he really opened himself up to the dramatic aspect of this movie. And there are scenes in this movie, notably one in a bar with Jen Garner and then one at the end with Mark Ruffalo, where it's not the Ryan Reynolds we expect. It's authentic and raw in a way that Ryan doesn't always allow of himself on screen. And I think that is partly a function of the trust that's developed between the two of us. He came to this movie very open to be who he is and show who he is. I just think that any storytelling that can reconnect people with their humanity and their emotional better selves is good. It's good for the way we live, and cumulatively just might be good for the world that we live in. And so making a movie that is committed to being anti-cynical, positive, anti-nihilist, hopeful. These are values I believe in, and it is the kinds of stories I want to put into the world.